Hi everyone, welcome back to Massa Military. The S-400 air defense system is Russia's mainstay to have replaced the S-300 systems. China was among the earliest to order six sets of S-400 from Russia in 2014, with a total contract value of approximately $30 billion. Before this, China had also purchased many S-300 missile defense systems from Russia on multiple occasions, also totaling nearly $30 billion. The S-400 is the ultimate upgrade of the S-300 PMU series. It was initially referred to as the S-300 PMU-3 and entered into service in April 2007. Like the S-300, the S-400 achieves air defense capabilities ranging from short range to ultra range by deploying different interception missiles. According to public data, the S-400 system uses four types of intercept missiles, including the ultra-long-range 40N6 with a range of 249 miles, the long-range 48N6E3 with a range of 155 miles, the medium-range 9M96E2 with a range of 75 miles, and the short-range 9M96E with a range of 25 miles, forming a multi-layered air defense shield. A complete S-400 air defense system includes an active phase array radar. It has up to 12 mobile launchers, each carrying 4 missiles and a maximum of 48 missiles ready for launch simultaneously. The maximum detection range of the S-400 radar is 373 miles, with an effective detection range for aircraft targets from 1 to 249 miles and for ballistic missile targets from 4 to 37 miles. Known as MIM-104 by the US military, the earliest version of the Patriot missile system entered service in 1984. The current variants in service include the PAC-2 and PAC-3, with additional subtypes for enhanced configurations targeting ballistic missiles such as the PAC-2, PAC-2 Gem, PAC-3, and PAC-3 MSE. The PAC-2 utilizes a high explosive fragmentation warhead, while the PAC-3 has transitioned to a kinetic energy kill mechanism. To enhance interception success rates, the PAC-3 incorporates a hit-to-kill enhancement device. Due to its kinetic kill mechanism, the PAC-3 missile has become smaller, with a diameter of only 10 inches. Each launcher of the PAC-3 can accommodate up to 16 missiles, while a PAC-2 launcher can only hold 4 missiles. The basic unit of the Patriot missile system is the missile battery, also known as a fire unit. It consists of a phased array radar and 8 launchers. The PAC-2 has up to 32 missiles to launch, the PAC-3 has 128 missiles, and the PAC-3 MSE has 96. Overall, the Patriot system has greater firepower than the S-400. The S-400 interceptor missile has different types, which are more extensive and heavier. Its warhead still mainly utilizes a highly explosive fragmentation design. Additionally, it primarily employs semi-active radar homing guidance. It lacks the capability for fire and forget operations and requires continuous radar illumination of the target. The Patriot Pac-2 primarily targets aircraft and cruise missiles using semi-active radar homing. The Pac-2 Gem, Pac-3, and Pac-3 MSE primarily target ballistic missiles, utilizing active radar guidance to enable fire and forget capability, significantly enhancing the system's ability to counter saturation attacks. Because the Patriot defense system is for medium to short range air defense, its range is not as far as the S-400. The maximum range of the Pac-2 is 124 miles, the Pac-3 is 50 miles. The maximum interception distance for ballistic missiles is only 25 miles. The PAC-3 MSE belongs to an extended range configuration with a maximum range of 75 miles, and the maximum interception distance for ballistic missiles is 37 miles. The longest range missile in the S-400 system is the 40N6. It is still being tested and not yet developed. The S-400's max range is 155 miles. However, this range is likely against slower moving targets such as aircraft and data must be available against ballistic missiles. Regarding missile speed, Patriot missiles with similar ranges are faster than the S-400, meaning Patriot can intercept faster moving targets. In summary, the Patriot missile system is more compact, faster, and has more ready missiles. Combined with the advanced radar and fire control systems, the Patriot offers better defense against incoming missiles compared to the S-400 from documentation. Both Moscow and Beijing have extensively promoted the S-400 as advanced. 
Russian media have reported that the S-400's combat capabilities are unparalleled by any other system in the world. The People's Daily published an article titled, Russian S-400 Surface-to-Air Missile System Surpasses American Patriot in 2013. However, how did the S-400 perform in actual combat? On May 20, 2023, a Hamas rocket struck the command vehicle of an S-400 air defense system in the Kherson region. According to subsequent Russian obituaries, the radar operator vehicle of the S-400 was hit and all the crew members died. On August 23, 2023, Ukrainian forces used improved Neptune missiles to hit an S-400 air defense system located in western Crimea. The Neptune missile is a subsonic anti-ship missile, while the S-400 is for air defense protection. Unfortunately, it ended up becoming the target itself. This incident highlights potential deficiencies in the Russian radar's detection capabilities for targets in low altitudes. Furthermore, since August 2023, Ukraine has frequently launched missile attacks on Crimea's Black Sea Fleet and air bases, as well as on the Kerch Bridge and the Henichess Bridge. Despite the presence of air defense systems deployed in those areas, including the S-400, the Russian military has consistently shown vulnerabilities, allowing Ukrainian attacks to succeed repeatedly. In August 2023, Ukrainian MiG-29 fighters destroyed an S-400 system with American-made harm anti-radiation missiles near the Black Sea Fleet's home port in Sevastopol. On the morning of September 20th, two Storm Shadow missiles from Ukrainian forces directly hit the headquarters building of the Black Sea Fleet. The Storm Shadow missiles provided by the UK to Ukraine ranged less than 186 miles. The Su-24M bombers capable of launching these missiles need to approach Crimea to launch them. Theoretically, the advanced S-400 air defense system should easily detect Su-24s. Still, it failed to intercept the Storm Shadow missiles. Chinese missile experts had questioned the effectiveness of the S-400. In April 2017, when the US launched Tomahawk missiles from the Mediterranean to strike a Syrian government airbase near the Homs region, the Russian S-400 missile system deployed in Syria not far from the base remained inactive. In response to this incident, the Science and Technology Daily interviewed missile expert Yan Ying Guo from the 2nd Academy of Aerospace Science and Industry. Yan Ying Guo stated that the Russian S-400 has weaknesses with dealing with low-flying stealthy targets like tomahawks, and the US seems to have mastered the patterns and weaknesses of the S-400. It suggests the S-400 had issues detecting and intercepting targets at low altitudes. The recognized Chinese experts are aware of the issues. On the other hand, since its deployment in the Ukrainian battlefields, the Patriot Air Defense System has safeguarded the security of the capital city of Kyiv. It has successfully intercepted both the Dagger and Zircon missiles, both claimed to be hypersonic. On May 16, 2023, the Patriot System withstood a saturation attack of six Dagger missiles. It has also achieved numerous victories in shooting down Su-34 and Su-35 fighters and A-50 AWACS aircraft. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, China finally had the opportunity to purchase air defense weapons from Russia. Consequently, in 1991, when the Soviet Union dissolved and the Gulf War ended, China imported its first batch of four battalions of S-300 air defense missile systems from Russia. In 1994 and 2001, China imported the second and third batches, respectively. In 2003, the People's Liberation Army purchased another batch of upgraded S-300 PMU-2 systems. Over 20 years, China acquired 24 battalions of S-300, amounting to nearly $3 billion. Subsequently, Russia introduced an improved version of the S-400 with enhanced performance. As a result, China signed another contract in 2014 to purchase six sets of the upgraded S-400, priced at $500 million each, with a total value of $3 billion. This procurement spurred Turkey and India to decide to purchase the S-400. Upon the arrival of the ordered S-400 system, the People's Liberation Army eagerly conducted actual drills, only to find that the miraculous performance claimed by the Russians was entirely exaggerated. For instance, the advanced multifunction radar system claimed to be capable of tracking over 300 targets simultaneously and intercepting 48, along with its robust anti-jamming capabilities and highly automated features for target identification, fire calculation, and launch commands, it failed to meet the benchmarks touted by the Russian side. 
With the poor display of the S-400 in the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, China has changed the deployment approach for the framework. All S-400 frameworks are in southern urban communities with slight air protection pressure. Replicas of the Soviet period HQ-2 surface-to-air missiles from the 1970s also go with them. Therefore, they have generally vanished from media coverage. Like the Su-35 fighter jet, the S-400 has seen limited progress in Russian military technology since the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Moreover, corruption within the entire military-industrial complex is rampant, and Russian media often exaggerate achievements. While Russia's military tech may suffice against weaker adversaries in the Middle East and Africa, facing more formidable opponents reveals its shortcomings. It is one reason why the Russo-Ukrainian war has remained deadlocked for over two years. That's all for today. Please like, subscribe, and support Massa Military for more. See you next time.